Hello. In this video, I want to go over the process of enabling Quick Connect on a Synology NAS. So what Qu Quick Connect is, is a kind of like a, a dynamic DNS. It's a feature you can use so you can be on, say, your, your phone and connect back to your Synology NAS um, over the internet, over the public internet. Another option would be to use a VPN. That's probably the ultimate safer option, but for convenience sake, the Quick Connect is uh, very nice. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to the control panel in the DSM and I'll click on network and then DSM settings. I want to enable HTTPS on the NAS, which is a good idea anyway, but if you're going over the public internet, it's definitely needed. So I will click on automatically redirect HTTP to connections to HTTPS and it says web station and photo station are excluded. So that's something to keep in mind. And I'll check that. And then I'll hit apply. Okay, so now it has redirected to the HTTPS site. So the system is using a self-signed certificate by default. So um, Chrome is giving me an error message. So what I want to do is I want to hit advanced and it will say that it cannot prove that this is valid, but I know it is because I just enabled it. And I'll say per proceed to this IP address and it will bring up the DSM interface. So the next step is to go back into the control panel and we'll click Quick Connect over here and we'll hit Enable Quick Connect and we need to log in to the Synology account. Okay, so we're logged in, and then uh, you can give it a quick connect ID, so you can make something up. I, I just named this Tunneling QC for Tunneling Quick Connect. I'll change this later, but just for this video. If you look at this little note here, it says it can only include English letters, um, numbers, dashes. It must start with a letter and cannot end with a dash. And then I will check here that I'm agreeing to the terms and privacy policy, and I'll hit apply. And now you'll see status is registering it. And now this has come up here. It says connect to your disk station anywhere on web browsers. Use this link and it's quick connect dot two and then the tunnel in QC. And then on mobile devices and cloud station clients, enter the quick connect ID below on the login screen, quick connect ID, and then has tunnel in QC. So what you can do now, like once you set this up, you may want to test it. A good way to test this is to pull out your phone and turn off your Wi-Fi and then go to this URL and you should have the interface come up. Now, if I click on this right now, it will connect up and it will redirect me to my local IP because it knows I'm on the local network. So that's another quick test. If we go to advanced here, you can um, you know, click some different options here. Uh, enable Quick Connect Relay Service, automatically create port forward rules, and then you can turn on or off different features, like you can turn on or off DSM, cloud station utilities, things like that. So if you only want to access the admin interface, you would just have DSM on, or if you only wanted to access some mobile applications, um, you would turn this on. And this works with uh, DS Audio, DS Cam, DS File, DS Finder, DS Get, DS Note, DS Video, chat, drive, mail plus, and moments. So when you go into, for instance, the DS Audio app on a device, on an Android or iOS device, you'll have a thing where it says enter your IP address or your Quick Connect ID. So where you might have had a, an IP address on your local LAN when you first set it up, you can enter in this Quick Connect ID and it will be able to connect to it anywhere over the internet unless you have firewalls getting in the way or something, but generally speaking, it will be able to connect anywhere. So another thing to consider is that you'll see this DSM here it says HTTP colon slash slash, but we did enable HTTPS. And when I click on this, you'll see it will redirect to HTTPS. So you're getting a secure connection over the internet. Now to, to, for a really secure connection, you would want to install your own um, security certificate, but um, especially for 
you know, general use and setup, you can try it this way. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like, and I'll put a link in the description to my other Synology videos. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.